everyone it is danny and welcome to this update video i hope you have been enjoying your day and so we're going to be taking a look at what is going on across the north atlantic and here we are looking at these satellite imagery uh there are a couple of friends here and there and they're still in vest 90 l out there so that is a disturbance which should be off the map very soon it should lose its designation by this evening why because development is not expected so this system here it uh, had a chance of becoming a subtropical cyclone, getting some uh, tropical characteristics and reaching the threshold to be considered as such. However, it did not take advantage of its window of opportunity. And as a result, here we have the formation chance decreasing because it is quickly making its way out to the northeast and in doing so it increasing in latitude which is distance from the equator uh, as it heads further up to the north it is going to be making its way into cooler territory so that is not going to allow for any sort of tropical development of the system as a result zero percent chance is what we're seeing here on the national hurricane center's outlook and of course, aside from that, there is nothing else uh, marked as a disturbance. But let's head into the vicinity of the Caribbean because it's not just about development. There are these other weather systems which induce a lot of heavy rainfall across some areas and even flooding as well. So let's take a look at what is happening across the region. Let's go to Northern South America and the South Caribbean. We can see that there is a lot going on across portions of Colombia, Venezuela, Guyana, Suriname, and into French Guiana as well. A lot of activity. Those white dots, they indicate lightning strike so that daytime heating is helping to contribute to all the activity we're seeing here and also in the southwest caribbean offshore of nicaragua costa rica and panama there is some activity there as well and as for trinidad a lot of that is just to the south of the island but as we head through this week there's likely to be some periods of some heavy downpours across sections of trinidad and elsewhere in the caribbean we're going to be looking at that in a moment but for the abc islands going through most of the lesser antilles and the caribbean on a whole there isn't much happening some areas have experienced some downpours here and there some showers moving through that may be substantial and uh, going over into other parts of central america into the vicinity of northern belize we're seeing some thunderstorms developing right there but on a whole there hasn't been anything too significant in the region but uh here we are looking at this map here and where we see those purple shadings that represent winds of at least around 10 going to around 16 knots so that darker purple shading is representative of winds up to around 16 knots and around 20 knots or so for those lighter blue shading so some areas have been experiencing some uh, breezy conditions as well especially the eastern islands the lesser antilles going toward the abc islands so that is what has been happening guys nothing too crazy is going on at the moment and then uh, it's a more stable environment so i've been talking about this where things get a bit more stable as we head in toward the winter months as we head toward the end of the hurricane season but of course there'll be those friends to talk about as they make their way down from the u.s over the next couple of months but for now here we're looking at the dry air map we're seeing those areas of yellows oranges reds representing all that dry air limiting all that convection in portions of the caribbean so there hasn't been a whole lot of activity and nothing new is expected in terms of seeing tropical cyclone development and so now i want to bring your attention to this rainfall forecast this is from the euro and it goes out to thursday of the coming week so about five days or so out from now and we're seeing that it's getting pretty colorful across some areas where we see some of those burgundies and those purples and pinks representing some of those are pretty substantial rainfall totals so as we head through this week exactly that across portions of the southwest caribbean even in the vicinity of the bay of campeche for mexico there may be some periods of heavy downpours even some substantial rainfall across northern south america on a whole going to trinidad and tobago so of course i'll be taking you guys through what is happening on a day-to-day -day basis i'll be posting every single day and if that's not going to happen then i'm going to be uh, letting you guys know ahead of time because i know a lot of you are expecting my updates so i will be sure to do that and then elsewhere across the caribbean maybe just the accumulation of those showers passing through some of which may be heavy at times but not seen where anything too significant is expected elsewhere in the caribbean but again for parts of the southwest basin going towards southeast nicaragua parts of costa rica panama even down to colombia for mexico as well there may be some periods of heavy downpours and that may induce flooding and then finally heading over into the eastern pacific where a new storm has developed yesterday tropical storm ramon so that is located well to the southwest of the baja california peninsula there you can see it 
but the wind shear is taking its toll on the system right now. So here it is at a closer view on the visible satellite imagery. There's the center of it and we can see that bulk of activity being displaced to the east. So the wind shear is taking its toll on the system. As a result, it's not expected to last long out there and by early next week it is expected to dissipate. And the disturbance itself has been around for quite some time so it should uh, completely diminish as we're going to be heading into the next several days. But that is what is going on for now guys and I hope you found this video to be quite informative. However, if you have any questions, as always, please leave them in the comments. I'll respond when I get the chance to do so. And remember to always be weatherwise.